it's not 100%. That's no. crazy. I mean, what about the way they demonized the ivermectin thing? Yeah. I mean, it's a drug, not a politician. Right. I mean, why that something like that would ever become politicized, especially a drug that I believe when it first came out in 2015, was it? I think it won the Nobel Prize, the guy? Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I think it, it wiped out some disease in Africa. Yellow fever. A yellow fever. It's a it's an antiparasitic, but it shows it stops viral replication in vitro. It does have some sort of an effect, and there's. Or I'm actually going to have a debate about it with uh, this well, scientist and another guy who doesn't believe in it. It's it, a fascinating thing because it's like uh, getting mad at aspirin. Right. It's like if it works for you, and it plainly works for some people, and works on a lot of things. I I, I just don't understand that mentality. Well, you know why we, they did it, right? Well, I mean, it certainly was important if you wanted to create a monopoly for the vaccine. Well, that not nothing. just a monopoly, but the Emergency Use Authorization Act. In order to, to utilize the emergency use authorization, they had to have no other remedies. There was no other effective treatment. And so any effective treatment, specifically one that was I mean, at the time, COVID, or uh, ivermectin, rather, had been a lot around long enough that it was generic. So no one owned the patent on it. Mm. So anyone can manufacture it. It was like right. seven cents a dose. It's nothing. It costs right. nothing. Well, we can't have that. We can't have that. No. And th that's also why they tried to discourage and then no, eventually I... suppress people from getting monoclonal antibodies. They didn't I... want any sort of way that you could get over this without taking their medicine. I find it so curious that liberals were <laughs> always, you know, so skeptical about corporate America, yeah. including the pharmaceutical industry, but this thing came along. And wow. suddenly, and it wasn't as if we didn't just have a giant example, the Sackler family yeah. of Purdue Pharmaceuticals, right, makers of OxyContin and other yeah. fine poisons. Okay, I mean, they were fined, what was it, $8 billion, I think, for selling their hillbilly heroin to people, yeah. knowing that they were hooking people, and they wound up killing hundreds of thousands of people. At least. So, it's not that we don't know that they're capable of this shit. Right. So, for to, to, to throw your lot in, and then for the media to be the basically the the trumpet of government on this issue. So we didn't have a watchdog on government and what they were telling us. We just had somebody who amplified what they said. Right. That's extremely dangerous.